Oklahoma 47, the turn, the gift to Peterson. He left side, 50, 45, 40, to his right, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Oklahoma. 53 yards, and man, that guy can run. Holy cow. You know, real unfortunate, a freak accident, really, you know, considering the amount of abuse he takes, you know, throughout a game to have it on on a play where he's diving into the end zone, so. I just, I look back to my faith, and you know, I, I you know, and I, I think about um, a verse in, you know, James chapter one, it talks about um, dealing with adversity and problems, and it, and it creates endurance, and it cu- creates wisdom, it, c- it creates a complete person, and um, that's what it's about, you know, it completes, a, c- creates a complete team, you know, we have to deal with that stuff, and keep moving, and keep getting stronger, and wiser as a team, and being smarter, and playing harder, and um, it's going to make us better down the stretch, and down the stretch is where it really matters. You no, know, we go through a lot of things all summer, you know, just playing, running, you know, with Schmitty and stuff like that. And when you get that chance to play and stuff, and then, you know, you get hurt early in the season, it kind of just, you know, hurts, you know, just like all that work that I did this summer, you know, can't do nothing about it. I don't know, man. I mean, you know, he's taking it pretty hard right now, you know. I mean, you know, just the type of competitor he is, you know, he always wants to be out there. And that's kind of getting taken away from him. But I don't know, I just think as an offense, you know, just to turn to the flip side, you know, to look at it for the good, I just think, you know, We've been through obstacles, you know. I mean, obstacles that people thought we weren't going to, you know, overcome, and this is just another one. So, I mean, you know, I'm hoping and praying, you know, that he can have a real fast recovery, you know, because, I mean, everybody wants him out there on the field, especially me. You know, you need a guy like that out there on the field. So, but I just think it's just another obstacle we're going to have to overcome, especially as an offense. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the program. Dean Blevins and head coach Bob Stoops of the Sooners and Oklahoma winning by 25 over Iowa State in Norman on Sunday, but losing one of the uh, best at what he does in uh, certainly Oklahoma history and one of the best ever at what he did, Bob. Uh, Yeah, Adrian Peterson, we're all talking about, uh, you know, had a a broken collarbone and and, uh, just sad for him, Uh, really unfortunate. I know it's devastating for him personally. Uh, You could just see it in his eyes and uh, it's it's difficult and it's a tough game and the way he goes at it, the competitor he, competitor he is, the way he goes after people to you know to lose him and, and to, for him to, to break his collarbone in this manner, it's just hard to take. But um, I, I, mostly for him personally, uh, with there's so much that he's going after this year. He, uh, of course, our offense revolved around him, and it should. Uh, but uh, you know, so it's just just incredibly unfortunate. But as a team, uh, we'll regroup. Uh, work with the other backs that are in there, adjust what we're doing to some degree, and and keep pushing forward. Uh, uh, that's what we have to do, and that's what we will do. Bob, you know, his father Nelson was able to watch that game yesterday. It would have been great if he were to have been able to watch Adrian the rest of his college career before going to the NFL, but at least he did get to see this one game in person and what a game it was for him to see. It, it, it was, and Adrian had all his family there, and at least they were there in this unfortunate accident and incident that they're there for him after the game, his dad in the locker room helping yeah. him, along along with his mom, you know, there and, and stepdad Frankie. They're all... He got great support. He has a great family around him, and it, though it, this is incredibly unfortunate for him, uh, you know, in the in the big picture of his life, uh, this is going to be a setback. But he's got so much more in front of him. All his family are going to get to watch him for a long time, wherever it may be. So he, he's got a great future. And again, as I said, this is something that'll heal, and it could be a lot worse. I, I think in the end is 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 the only silver lining in, in it, in that in that he's going to have a lot of games in front of him. We could dedicate the whole show to this situation, but you have to move on and your club has to move on. And as we listened to one of your players, Pendleton, talk a moment ago, he talked about uh, dealing with adversity and how you have to to move on to make yourself complete. And you've certainly had a lot of uh, adversity to deal with. Well, that, that's part of the, the game. Everything doesn't always go your way. I, I say quite often uh, to our players or wherever that you play the hand you're dealt. Uh, this, is, this is what we have and, and we're going to play it the best we can. Our guys... Uh, we, we have a lot of options and, and a lot of ways to go, and, and we'll find them, and we'll, we'll, we'll work it in a good way. I feel confident about that, uh, and, and I like the way we'll come out and go, go after it. I, I know this team, I, I, we have played well, but I believe we, we, there's so much more in front of us if we could play with a little more discipline and a little more, just, just a little brighter in some, some areas where we kind of hurt ourselves, and that's, that's what we got to keep pushing for, and if we do, we'll have, a, we'll have an excellent year. I know yesterday in your post-game press conference, you came off probably a little bit more 
uh, negative toward the ball game than you might have felt? Or is that fair to say because maybe you had uh, Adrian's situation on your mind? I know you're disappointed in some things. Well, I'm sure a lot of it was the emotion of knowing Adrian was, you know, I, I had feared that. They hadn't made the final ruling. They were x-raying right. him, but they felt pretty sure that it was broken. So that had a, a lot to do with my mood. But, but also I was really frustrated in some of the areas that I know we're better at. Uh, whether it's uh, uh, the foolish penalties, personal fouls, the, uh, the couple of mental breakdowns on the one drive that we give up defensively, right. a couple of drop third down catches that, that are there for us. And, and just some of those in, in some of those areas where I, when we're not as clean as we should be, it really bothers me at this point in the year. But it was a very clean start for the Sooners offensively and defensively in the first quarter. And we'll see that when we return. Stick formation, Thompson, a five step drop. As time throws, end zone, touchdown, Oklahoma! Malcolm Kelly! Allie, it's Mom, about your wedding. I like red flowers, and Cousin Artie can play the accordion. Okay, bye, Mom. <laughs> Get to where you really want to go in the Ford Escape with the power you want, road grip and control you need. And with Escape and Escape Hybrid, there are less stops at the pump. Now you can drive a new 2007 Ford Escape for just $277 a month at your best in Oklahoma Ford dealer. This my circle from Altel Wireless is killing us. You could choose like 10 people and all calls to them are free no matter what network they're on. Like anyone could even have 10 friends. Anyway, we gotta put a stop to it. Any ideas? I got the carne asada. It's awesome. That's genius. But whatever we do, we have to keep in contact. Just don't call me until after 7, because that's when my free minutes kick in. You guys aren't on my network, so this could get pricey. We could send emails. That'll show them. My Circle, only from Altel Wireless. Who do you go to for the ultimate truck buying experience and the guaranteed lowest prices in Oklahoma? The go-to guy is Joe Cooper, Oklahoma's largest Ford truck dealer, outselling the other Ford dealers by two to one. Here's just one of the reasons, a new F-150 Super Cab V8 automatic, only $17,977. Or take $14,000 off this new expedition. Way to go, Joe! I'll beat any other Ford dealer's price by $500 or pay you $10,000 cash. Their ad is our ad. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Joe Cooper Ford of Midwest City. Come see us. 點俾佢遠方嘅位朋友落耳收聽。我終於回來，我回來，我回來，我回來。Two are here at the Coliseum. Two of our biggest rivals in college football: Notre Dame and USC. On a perfect football afternoon. Gee, looks like Honda has another winning lineup. Right, Tim. The Honda Ridgeline was named Motor Trends Truck of the Year. And don't forget the Honda Civic Motor Trends Car of the Year. And let's check out the rest of Honda's winning lineup. For dependability, reliability, and affordability, right now is the best time to buy a brand new Honda. Tim and Angie reminding you to get to your Central Oklahoma Honda 5 dealers. Bob Howard, Fowler, Eskridge, Fenton Stillwater, and Steve Bailey. Promotional considerations provided by Audio Dimension. Sooner Football 2006 is brought to you by your Oklahoma Ford dealers, the best in Oklahoma, Integris Heart Hospital, where experts are bringing you life-saving answers, Alltel, proud partner of OU Athletics, Tickets unlimited. Any event, anywhere, anytime. Loves, travel stops, and country stores. Clean places, friendly faces. And by OG&E. Power at the speed of light. Closed captioning provided by our best bank. Welcome back to Sooner Football 2006. Uh, I mean, it was overall defensive efforts with the coaches, you know, defensive, uh, the front line and the linebackers and secondary. We all did our job, played our part, and, uh, you know, executed and did our job, didn't try to uh, do too many people's job, didn't try to do somebody else's job. 
kind of clicked on all cylinders in all phases. Um, DB is recovering well. You know, the line was getting good pressure, and then you know, which both help each other. You know, our pressure helps the coverage. Our coverage helps the pressure, and um, you know, we were able to make some plays and it was good. Honestly, it was uh, just being an anticipation. We knew what was coming. I seen number two on the line, and I broke on the corner right before he could. Uh, I, I knew what was going to come, and I, I just, and I seen the quarterback throw it. It was uh, a lot of anticipation, just practicing, uh, being confident in what we uh, practice all week, I feel like. And more of Darian Williams when we come back at halftime, and uh, what a ball game he had, Bob. But, uh, you know, coming into this game, this was a dangerous Iowa State passing attack, and uh, you knew, you kind of know what uh, you did offensively. There's been a lot said about that, but they were pretty dangerous in the air. Well, Brett Meyer, their, their quarterback was a preseason all Big 12 pick, you mm -hmm. know, for a quarterback, and he's a, he's a very good football player. Uh, you I watch, you know, watching all his games last year, this year, leading up to our game. Uh, getting ready to play them, you could see him. He makes a lot of plays and, and throwing the football, running with the football. Uh, uh, Blythe, number one, they're, they're uh, wide receivers. Uh, I, I believe a first or a preseason all big, uh, right. big 12 pick, uh, also a wide receiver, makes a lot of big plays on everybody. So overall, yes, uh, they, they uh, do a really good job running the ball. But all in all, we really played with good discipline and, and tackled well, covered well, and got a lot of pressure to their quarterback. You know, uh, the, the game before against Texas, I think, uh, held them to, what, 234, and then yesterday, 238. So sometimes stats, you know, they don't, they don't mean as much. But still, those are pretty good uh, numbers. We're, we're playing in a good way. Uh, you, we're getting off the field quicker, three and outs, getting some turnovers, and you put it all together, it does make a difference. And, and offense was uh, complimented uh, the defense yesterday with, with some drives. I, and in the first half, I believe we scored in four of our first five. I, I believe that's right. Mm -hmm. and, and so when you're, you're resting your defense as well, getting field position with your offense, when they go hand in hand like that, it, it, you, you get good scores. And that's what happened in the first half. Let's go to the highlights. And Yesterday has uh, sort of been like it, uh, it was sort of like it's been all season in that it was beautiful in that shot and it was beautiful weather all day long. Around 70 degrees, wind was between 5, 12 miles an hour, and Oklahoma will be going uh, with the wind, I believe, in the first half. Bob, I think you won another toss and deferred, and Iowa State's going to receive and defend the north end. That was an absolutely perfect day. I, I just sunny the whole day and had a great crowd again uh, sold out as we have for eight years now so it was uh, a lot of fun to be out there and you got to remember there, there were lots of uh, questions a lot of people in the stands were wondering how this Oklahoma team would come back and I think that was answered emphatically and this is the beginning as the ball is kicked through the end zone and Cyclones have it first and 10 at the 20. They start off with a trap play up inside and Rufus Alexander steps up and makes a really nice tackle up in there and they come back with the zone read play, and C.J. IU comes down in and makes a good tackle. And here it's third down. They're trying a little rollout pass that's thrown behind them and incomplete. So we're going to get the ball uh, in good field position and going to go right down the field here. Start off with the play action pass. Paul really came out hot, I think, in the first half. That's Manuel Johnson catching this off of this play action. He's got a lot of time out there and delivers a nice ball. And the first play of the game was actually about a 45-yard completion. You went deep to a beautiful catch by Malcolm Kelly. But coming back here on the second official offensive play of the game, Adrian Peters. You see Adrian with another great run, just busting through the line and does a great job getting the ball downfield. We'll see it once again, and it's a thing of beauty, and it's something that Sooner fans have been fortunate to watch for three years. And Making one or two people miss him is something, Bob, that is really a difficult thing to do, but you come to just assume that will happen with Peterson. And good blocking there, too. Our yeah. line did, did in tight ends. We had two or three tight ends in on that set, did a really nice job as well. Some of Peterson's best runs of the day will be those three yarders. Here he bounces outside. That's one guy, Bob, that can't get him. Another, he just kind of floats by and runs past another, makes it look easy. He does. There's. <laughs> I guess so you have to be careful how much direction sometimes you want him to hit it up in there, but then he can he does things like this just naturally and so strong out on the edge where he just runs through that tackle, he's gonna run through another one. Uh, there most backs go down after the first or the second, certainly the third, but he gets in and Oklahoma goes four plays, fifty-seven yards, and jumps on top seven to nothing, and Iowa State will get it back at the twenty and go three and out. 
really good pressure there. We got pressure off the edge and able to get to him, force him to throw the ball away. And they run it up inside, the good tackle there, and Steve Coleman with the tackle there. Third and eight, Stevie Hicks a good back, and he made the yardage there, but pressure good, on the quarterback. Good blitz again, Lindy Holmes off the edge, uh, forces a poor throw, and again get the ball back three and out, and come start off with the reverse here. Daniel Johnson does a nice job running with it. Looked like maybe Moore picked up four, though, in second and six, they're at the 39. But tell you what, what a start by Paul Thompson. Five for five early and just a phenomenal first half. Good run there by Joaquin Iglesias after the catch. You watch it again, little play action. We're getting the slot receiver out in the flat real quick and Paul throws a nice ball and Joaquin does a really good job running with it after the catch there. But Pick Paul up was, of 17. I think it was 14 to 17 at halftime. Really, really came out strong. And you give him that first catch, which uh, first reception, Numbers were even better, but uh, nonetheless, very good. Another completion here. It, Malcolm Kelly here with the catch, and Malcolm needs to put the ball away. This is things like this that really concern you as a coach. You see the ball gets loose right here. Instead of all those people around him, we've got to take care of the football better there. That was good for 14 AD for only one. Really nice, nice run right there, just avoiding their a really good nose guard. Really nice screen pass. Good blocking out in front. I think that's Joe John Finley and Malcolm Kelly out there in front of Manuel Johnson. Watch it. We fake the run. We're hitting them with the screen. There's your tight end, 19. Uh, and Joaquin Iglesias out there blocking. And Manuel does a great job getting the ball up inside. And he's really come on the last two games making big plays. Ball down to the 12. AD will lose one. Too much penetration there. We allowed the linebacker to run through on us. Come back with the quarterback run game. It's good. We get about four or five, which is a good play. Here's Third and seven. Touchdown pass. See, we get uh, Malcolm Kelly in there on the post route. Good throw by Paul. And Man uh, Malcolm does a great job as you watch it here coming back to the football. If he waited on the ball, they would have intercepted it. And he comes back to the ball and cuts him off. Garrett Hartley, perfect again, and on top 14 to nothing is Oklahoma. Cyclones from the 20, and they will mount a drive and do it through the air. We're poor on this play. We're late in our blitz. We did not executed very well, and then we don't protect the seam route, so we'll bust on two counts and give them a big play. And they're good enough to capitalize on it, but I, those are some areas where we could be better. Nice tackle there by Lindy Holmes. Austin Flynn went for 34. There they go, running the football. Lenny Holmes from his cornerback position comes up, makes a good tackle. Here we've got good pressure and force him out of the pocket. He dies and he's just short of the first down. And they're going to pick it up here. Fourth and one, and then Meyer will go deep for Todd Blythe, and this goes for a touchdown. Again, late on our blitz and, and our we're, we don't do a good enough job carrying the call it the wheel route where. Run, up, run off the corner with the post, and they put the flat player in the flat and put him up the sideline, and we've got to be able to stay with them better. Nice return here by Joaquin Iglesias. It gets it back to the outside. Going to get the ball all the way up to the 40, which is going to take the ball in the 40 after a kickoff every time. Return of 20. He got it at the 20, and this one dropped in the flat for the first and completion of the ball game. We had a good screen set up there. We need to be able to catch that and and make the play. First three and out for Oklahoma as it's third and nine. And, and you hear uh, Malcolm Kelly picks up the, the first no. down on the under route. Yeah, I take that back, obviously. That was incorrect as Oklahoma does pick up the first down. Sooners yet to punt, and Oklahoma on top after one, 14 to seven. Football 2006 is presented by Integris Heart Hospital. How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her burger, she kissed me. fries, and a 24 year old bottle of French Bordeaux. The Carl's Jr. $6,000 combo meal, exclusively at the Palms. 
dedication, teamwork, these are the characteristics that build a winner. At Chevy, the all-new redesigned Tahoe is in for every play. From now until November 13th, register to win a new OU-branded 07 Tahoe during our Ultimate Fan Experience sweepstakes. One lucky winner will drive off in a new Tahoe, but others will have a chance to win one of several Ultimate Fan Experience packages, including tickets to OU football. See your Oklahoma Chevy team dealer today. Sooner Legends Hotel Sports Bar and Restaurant. Enjoy a luxurious stay with 120 rooms and 16 suites decorated with Sooner memorabilia. Each room is richly appointed from flat screen TVs to Egyptian cotton sheets to villa top mattresses. Savor homemade specialties in our award winning restaurant. Sooner Legends Hotel Sports Bar and Restaurant. When I'm not playing at Tampa Bay, I like to stay in my room. For reservations or more information, call 701-8100 or go to SoonerLegends.com. Your GMC dealer pays tribute to those who achieved the highest standards. Presenting the Sooner Sweepstakes. Enter for your chance to win a commemorative frame jersey autographed by a Sooner who made it to the pros. And while you're there, experience the all-new 2007 GMC Yukon with best-in-class V8 fuel economy. The Sooner Sweepstakes. Get in the game. For details, see the pros at your Oklahoma City GMC truck trading dealer today. Sooner Football 2006 is presented in part by the Bob Howard Auto Group, Oklahoma's number one auto retailer and a proud sponsor of your Oklahoma Sooners. And the Sooners pick it up on the move second and seven you see there at the 44. Good strong run right there, like you said. That's a good five-yard pickup, and, and uh, that's what you want. It's a good good run, third and two. Great catch here by Joe John Finley. Really good throw by Paul too. Just squeezes it in there as you watch it on the third down pickup. Tight coverage, and Joe John makes a nice catch, and Paul gave him a nice ball to catch. He's playing up to the expectations, is he not? He playing really well. Here's one of the plates I was talking about, Bob. It turns a two or three yard loss into uh, about three or four three yard, yard yeah, pickup. Yeah. Really a good run. Uh, their, their nose guard, Brent Kirby, did a really good job. 52, again, who had the penetration on that last play. And he's a good player. We knew that coming in. And there's a third down stop. They break up the, the pass, so we're going to be forced to go for a field goal. And Garrett Hartley did a great job here. Uh, 46 yards, uh, I believe, into the win. Uh, really good. It, there wasn't much of a win. It was yeah, a little maybe breeze, it wasn't but. on the field. Uh, the flags looked like it was more than the reported five miles an hour, but that boot uh, went, ooh, went at least 10 yards past. Great tackle here by Alan Patrick, who we're going to be seeing more time at running back now. And, but Alan made a great hit right there. And he's been a good special teams player. He? He's been very good. Fortunately, the hopefully the young man's all right. And you saw Darian Williams with one of his two sacks there just a second ago, and here we've... Uh, Third and 15. Coming off the edge here. I guess this is first and 10 right here with uh, Landy Holmes coming off the corner. Getting excited about it. As you mentioned, uh, he had he, he is improving, isn't he? He's, hey, he had a really good game and, and made some really nice plays for sure. And here's a, a pickup on uh, second down there. They threw the ball over the middle. We had it covered initially, and then the receiver just broke away from us. Here we're trying to get pressure and, and, and just quarterback does a jo nice job escaping and he's he's a good athlete. He's going to do that on occasion. Stevie Hicks. Up inside, you see it right here. Now uh, quarterback keeps it on the zone read and Nick Harris is really playing well too. Comes off the corner and makes a nice tackle for loss. And those are the tackles you have missed a little bit this year, Bob. But uh, and it looked like you really played fast yesterday. We we did and, and tackled better in those kind of instances, like you're saying, instead of allowing the guy to escape us. And 
here we go on our two minute uh, offense here when we start off with a nice screen pass to Adrian Peterson who does a great job again running with it after the catch. We on our own 10 yard line going to get in the two minute mode there's only I think there's just shy of two minutes on the clock. Pretty aggressive uh, decision to make because you were a little bit into the win and could have gone into the halftime with a lead, but uh, you go ahead and move it. Felt felt good that we could go out and move it, and we're go going to here. They defend this well, check down to Adrian Peterson. We wanted the ball downfield, and he was our outlet. Come back to the screen to, to Adrian Peterson. He gets a big pickup here, runs away from one tackler, and good blocking downfield, and does a nice job getting it upfield. Really had uh, become a factor in the passing game here. He's really got good hands. See him just outrun the first defender and good blocking downfield. And Angles don't mean much against a guy like that. Uh, he really made a lot of guys chase him yeah, he's look got, funny. He's got great speed. Come back to the screen to, to Manuel Johnson and it's defended well. Picks up a little bit though, picks up about four. Now we hit Joe John Finley. Great pass there by Paul Thompson. Just threw it right between two defenders and sticks him, sticks him right in the chest. Nice catch by Joe John and run after the catch. And Still moving, really not down. Uh, plenty of time here, and the ball goes. Back to Malcolm leaping. Kelly, wow. and, and Malcolm again, great job reaching back for the football. And Paul, as you see him go back to his read, go through his progressions, and finds Malcolm Kelly, and Malcolm makes a nice catch for the touchdown. Wow, just almost perfect half by Paul Thompson, and the Sooners lead it 24 to 7 at halftime. Darian Williams joins us when we come back. miss a game. Order your 2006 video season ticket by going to the multimedia store on Soonersports.com. Every snap from all 12 regular season games plus the 2006 season highlight tape are all delivered right to your home. Don't you know that it's worth every treasure on earth to be young at heart? As rich as you are, it's much better by far to be young at heart. Oh, if you are among the very young at heart. Introducing the biggest thing to happen in sports, Sports Monday, only in the Monday Oklahoman. Only Sports Monday gives you statewide and coast-to-coast -coast coverage of the weekend's games, plus event ratings for the week ahead. Only Sports Monday puts you in the press box, on the sidelines, and in the locker room with exclusive features only insiders know. Get your sports complete and compact to grab and go. Get Sports Monday every Monday, only in the Oklahoman. Now you're ready. Who do you go to for the ultimate car buying experience and the guaranteed lowest prices in Oklahoma? The go-to guy is Joe Cooper, Oklahoma's largest Ford dealer, outselling the other Ford dealers by two to one. Here's just one of the reasons this new 06 Fusion for only $239 a month. Joe Cooper Ford has the largest selection of new Fusions and Mustangs in Oklahoma. Way to go, Joe! We'll be dealing the Ford dealer price on a new car by $500 or pay you $10,000 cash. Their ad is our ad. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Joe, Joe Cooper Ford of Yukon. Come see us. Introducing the rebirth of cool. Gatorade Rain. Start crisp, finish clean. Stay cool in the heat. Gatorade Rain. However you roll along life's way, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Cause it's a great feeling. Free wheeling. Knowing you're covered all the day. Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance. All around coverage. All around Oklahoma.
Sooner Football 2006 is presented by Integris Heart Hospital. Welcome back to the program, and as always, we have one of Oklahoma's players on the program, and Bob, why don't you introduce for us Darian Williams, a guy that has really played well. I had an excellent game here against Iowa State. Darian Williams here, a junior safety, came in as a cornerback, right, Darian? Yes, sir. But uh, junior safety out of Mesquite, Texas. Right. All right. How, what's, what are the differences uh, playing corner and safety, and how has that been for you? The safety, you have to... Uh, Basically, the leader of the secondary, uh, almost. Uh, cornerback, uh, you got to make sure everybody's in position. And uh, making sure uh, you're in the position, right position also. Uh, just making sure um, you lead, I guess, basically. It's more of a leader role. Right. And, and it really is more difficult, isn't it? More to, more to learn, is that fair to say? Uh, you have a lot more to learn. Um, um, you have a lot more assignments. Uh, gaps. <laughs> I like to say it's like night and day. The corners got it easy, don't they? Yeah. Uh, they have a man. They look at them. But, uh, <laughs> but, but Darian, yeah. is it uh, at, at safety since it is a little more complicated? Does it make it? Uh, does it take you a little time before you can just play on instinct and real and, and and play real ball rather than having to think a little bit? Where some of the positions, like you mentioned, cornerback, you know what you're going to do. Well, I feel I don't feel like that. I feel like uh, it takes practice, just like cornerback, and mm -hmm. repetition and practice, practice over and over and over is the same same thing. I feel like uh, when you do that, it comes as second nature almost. I, I noticed. I think it's obvious to everybody. Secondary played really well uh, yesterday in yesterday's game against Iowa State. What were some of the factors in in uh, in us playing better there in the secondary? Man. Uh, First and foremost, uh, our D-line got to that quarterback yeah. all day. We got pressure on him, and we knew he was a good athlete, and uh, that's the, that was our first in, uh, point in uh, winning the game. And our D-line got pressure on him all day, and uh, when he got to get that ball out of there real fast, it makes it a lot easier for us. Well, we turned you loose, and you had a couple of sacks. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, got a little pressure in there, and I got a couple chances to uh, come in there and make plays. Yeah, let's watch some of them here. What do you what, what, you see it coming off the edge right here? What are you doing? Uh, I knew this team was a good boot team, and I came off the edge and uh, got off the block and was able to get a, get a good pass on him. He even showboated a little after. <laughs> now here's your interception. Oh, yeah. Tell everybody what you're playing there. Uh, we uh, knew coming into this game that they love corner routes, and I see number two, I seen number two on the line. And I seen the quarterback throw it as I was looking at the receiver, and I broke on it before the receiver could. Well, you can't say that. Sometimes you can exaggerate and say that you didn't step out, but I think you did step out there toward I the end of the game. I feel myself step out, but I kept running just in case. <laughs> you might as well <laughs> act like you scored, right? Oh, just in case they didn't see it. <laughs> you, you would love a game with the seven solos, two assists, so a total of nine and uh, two sacks for 18, and we saw the interception. You'd take those numbers every game, wouldn't you? Every game. <laughs> yeah. Bob, does some of that, though, have to do with the philosophy of uh, there was more blitzing yesterday? Yes. Uh, again, depending on what teams do uh, in, in some of their formations, and we were able to, to pressure Darian, pressure our Sam back or some, brought the corner at times. Uh, and, and so depending on what they're doing, uh, we were able to get to the quarterback and blitz a little more in this game uh, because of some of how because of how they like to, to operate as well uh, so it, you think well I'll just blitz every down it doesn't always work well that when you do that you know there you open yourself up for some other plays and we were fortunate and we were able to get good pressure let me ask you about Adrian Peterson because I know he does, doesn't play defense not part of what your your team does but at the same time he's been a leader of your ball club your thoughts uh, about Adrian uh, it's a heartbreaker honestly but um and it's a rough game we play, I feel like. And um, this is part of football. And this is where we see, you know, the type of attitude and character our team has. And we're going to have to adapt. But I, I said many prayers for him and his family last night. But I feel like uh, this is going to show the character of our team. We're going to adapt. And uh, we're going to be good, I feel like. Well, Bob, your team came back after the Texas game. That had to be a very t hard loss. So you, so you jump back from that. Now you have another one. And it is time to, uh, to come together and move forward. So it's time to answer another bell. Uh, we will. Uh, there's no question that we have a strong football team uh, yeah. uh, around Adrian, around Paul, around right. all these guys. And, and it just feel incredibly, I think, where everyone's uh, hearts are is just for Adrian personally. Right. Uh, you know, just that 
he's worked so hard and, and the opportunities that are there in front of him now are limited and and uh, so uh, that part of it, I think, personally, is where everybody's thoughts are. Out, you know, as far as a football team, we'll keep adapting for sure. All right. Congratulations on yesterday, and uh, keep it going. Appreciate Thank it, you Darian. very much. All right. Darian Williams, our special guest. When we come back, third quarter action, Oklahoma and Iowa State. Sooner Football 2006 is presented in part by the Bob Howard Auto Group, Oklahoma's number one auto retailer and a proud sponsor of your Oklahoma Sooners. How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her burger. She kissed me. Fries and a 24 year old bottle of French Bordeaux. The Carl's Jr. $6,000 combo meal, exclusively at the Palms. No curb appeal. Hate the color. Oh, honey, this is it. What you got there is an infestation. A lot of life happens in your car. Conoco and Phillips 66 quality Pro Clean gasolines help clean your engine as you drive. The pink wasn't so bad. So you can focus on more important things. Conoco and Phillips 66. Life happens between empty and full. However you roll along life's way, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Because it's a great feeling, freewheeling, knowing you're covered all the day. Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance. All around coverage, all around Oklahoma. Your GMC dealer pays tribute to those who achieve the highest standards. Presenting the Sooner Sweepstakes. Enter for your chance to win a commemorative frame jersey autographed by a Sooner who made it to the pros. And while you're there, experience the all-new 2007 GMC Yukon with best-in-class V8 fuel economy. The Sooner Sweepstakes. Get in the game. For details, see the pros at your Oklahoma City GMC truck trading dealer today. And if you should survive to 105, look at all right out of being alive and here is the best part you have a head start if you are among the very young at heart if you are among the very young at Welcome back to Sooner Football 2006. Email question of the week. Bob, what is your main focus this week heading into the Colorado game? That's from Brian in Oklahoma City, and that's how you can email the coach, efanmail.com. Your focus? Well, well Brian, uh, first uh, will be to, to for us to play cleaner, uh, not to have, we had two personal fouls, catch the football when, when it's thrown to us, uh, you know, when it hits us in the hands, uh, continue to be better at not having the, the non, you know, the, the procedures, the offsides, the, the simple penalties that you can avoid. Uh, defensively, we still have a, a lapse here and there where we, uh, we don't communicate well enough. So we, we just got to keep pushing for improvement ourselves. That's where our focus will be, and of course, adapting offensively. Uh, we'll we'll focus on what's our best way uh, with our running backs. Uh, we've got a good number of them that, that are still there uh, that that have complimented Adrian Peterson, and so we have to adapt and figure out what's best, uh, what style with, with them in the backfield, how we'll play, and what we'll focus on, and what will be our primary focus uh, in moving the football w without Adrian Peterson and. Coach Wilson and our offensive staff do a great job uh, adapting uh, to their personnel, and we'll do so again this time. Bob, I know it's not long since Adrian was uh, 
uh, hurt. But, but do you know enough right now to, to tell us much about the plan, or is that going to develop as the week goes on? That, that'll develop as the week goes on. And plus, uh, there's no need in broadcasting it to everybody. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it close to the vest. Uh, a lot of it won't change. A lot of it will be what we've been doing. And, yeah, good point. And, uh, but we'll, we'll adapt uh, to, to the guys that are in there and play to their strengths. All right, third quarter. Oklahoma will get the football first after deferring, winning the toss, and Cyclones kicking off. The Sooners will get it at the 20-yard line again. Uh, he's kicking with the wind there and knocks it out, so touch back, and here we go. Starting the second half, we don't start off very, very well here. We're going to get a good run initially for five to six yards right there and brings up second down and come back with another run. And, Adrian does a nice job here of making people miss him again and picking up the first down. Vintage Adrian Peterson, and uh, this one is for 10. It's a lot of work for 10 yards, isn't it? <laughs> but he, it's a heck of a run, really. Peterson will get two. Oklahoma moving, brings up second and eighth. This one will be incomplete to Joaquin and Iglesias. Here we've got Joaquin open in the flat, and Paul just overthrows him. It just uh, ball just took off and sailed on him a little bit. Here's third down, and here's you know here's a well I'm talking about him. Joaquin's an excellent receiver, and we just we're capable of making that play. And that's a third down pickup. And instead, we have to punt the ball. And start off with good defense there. Again, defense has good series, three and out. Again, really good coverage, never was able to throw the ball there, had a lot of time once he escaped the rush and still forced him out. Here we come with pressure again, Nick Harris off the edge. And they had a guy open there for a second and just wasn't able to hold on to the football. So we got a break there. I think we were in pretty good position defensively, if I remember that, uh, that, was second, or, uh, that was third and 10. I think he would have been short of the first down. It would have been close. Yeah. Here, Reggie Smith just loses the football in the sun which hasn't happened, it just unfortunate and wasn't able to see the football, so we get it on the two, and there we, we between Paul and Adrian, we mishandle the handoff and get a safety. You know, he throws the ball out of the end zones just to ensure the safety. And Yeah, if he fumbles that and they recover, obviously a touchdown. Right, so. he just wanted to make sure, I guess, they didn't strip it from him. Or could have just held on to it and ate it, same thing. But. So that, that hurts, but again, coming back with good defense, you saw good, really good pressure there. Zach Latterman makes the, the tackle here as a quarterback, I believe it was a run play, not a uh, trying to quarterback draw here. And Carl Pendleton defeats the block up inside and makes a really nice play. Carl had a really good game. He had a couple of tackles for loss, or one sack and that tackle for loss. Really good tackle there you see by Darian Williams up from the safety position. Here's a third down play. Really good pressure. You see C.J. Ayu hits his hand as he's throwing, and Rufus Alexander makes the interception. Bob, did you get some? Did you get more pressure yesterday from the conventional four-man rush? We, we talked about the blitzes. We did. There's a great example. Steve Coleman's back in there pressuring him out of the pocket, and you see C.J. hit his arm as he's trying to throw it, and, and Rufus is there in good position for the interception. Numbers good yesterday for Rufus Alexander defensively. Really good, strong run right there. Good blocking up in front of Adrian as you watch it. Watch him push his center. And John Cooper right there, push him up into the block and picks, has a nice game, about pick nine yards. Of, uh, pick up of nine. And here we're allow some penetration here. We don't block the blitzer off the edge. Right down by our fullback position. So now it's fourth and two. And we're gonna, Paul throws a nice pass there to Joe John Finley for the first down. Sure is good to be able to rely on that tight end. Here we go to another one, Jermaine Gresham. Young freshman, makes a nice play, picks up about four or five yards. Good decision over there on his part to go ahead and take it north and south, wasn't it? It was, and he's a big, strong guy when he does go north and south. After that, it's third and two. And here again, we're just, ball just sailed a little bit. We had our fullback in the flat and weren't able to get it to him. And Garrett Hartley again, very consistent. It's another good field goal. Hartley misses one field goal, has missed one field goal on the season, and that was the one at Oregon. Iowa State will make one first down, and then they'll have it here. See Darian Williams, who we had on the show, one of his two sacks. You see him coming off, blitzing off the corner. Does a nice job getting in there for pressure. And that's the end of the third quarter. 27-9, stay with us.
Football 2006 is presented by Integris Heart Hospital. You know what you're looking at? It's a Ford Mustang GT with one of the baddest, most powerful engines on the planet. So what do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought, pal. Ford Mustang, pure American muscle. You can drive a new Mustang today for under 20 grand at your best in Oklahoma Ford dealer. Mile 1316, those endless white lines. Straight road. Why not catch the disease? <laughs> All right, don't panic. How long have you been asleep? Uh, how far is this Moe's Gas and Outlaw Biker Art Museum? <sighs> no, you couldn't stop. You need clean floors, friendly people, fountain drinks, and fresh munchies. Finally, relax. Where's the loves? Introducing the rebirth of cool. Gatorade Rain. Start crisp, finish clean. Stay cool in the heat. Gatorade Rain. Sooner Football 2006 is presented by Integris Heart Hospital. Fourth quarter, Oklahoma first and ten from the 24-yard line. Again, good strong run up inside for about four or five yards. Getting some very big yardage and approaching 200 yards after a gallop here in a few minutes and uh, making a nice move for the Heisman Trophy, but another beautiful run and, uh, and great blocking. Really, uh, offensive line did a, did a nice job. Uh, you see him here coming off tackle again. Adrian again just fighting his way through for another good, good game. Well, if you look at the plays that he really explodes on, there are the holes there that he shoots through and, and can, can really make the run. He does a great job in going from contact in the backfield to picking up the three yards, but the really big runs are those he can really explode through, right? Oh, absolutely. And when he gets going, he's, he, as everyone knows, it's difficult to stop when he gets all that power going. Here we are trying to sneak Alan Patrick out on a screen, and they, they were out there looking for it. So here's a third down that we're just not able to get the ball downfield. They had good coverage on us and they uh, sacked Paul, but they had a face mask, a five yard incidental, so that makes it third and 10. And here we're gonna try and get the ball outside to Joaquin Iglesias. And again, just not able to complete it. Uh, a play that we, again, we, between the quarterback receiver, we can make that play. Mike Nall punts it down. Iowa State is held, three and out. Oklahoma's held as well, and here we pick it up. So we're beginning to just exchange punch there, and now we still got him pinned back inside. Really good pressure, you saw both times. Here we come with the four-man pressure, force him out of the pocket on a long third down, and that was incomplete out of bounds. So we get the ball back again in good field position, and here's the long run that Adrian breaks, and just such a great run. And right here, as you see him diving in the end zone, when he falls on his left shoulder there is where he, he just, the shoulder hit the ground and just kind of popped his, his collarbone. And, Doctor said it was a clean break. Uh, it's not all the way through, but it's, it's 
there's a fracture there, they won't have to do surgery is what they said. They'll just brace them and then usually takes six weeks uh, to, to, to heal. Certainly the last run of this season, uh, the regular season, and one to go out on is one that uh, will be fondly remembered. And one of his classic runs, Bob, showing the just all of his ability here. Good good blocking downfield, too. You saw Fred Strong right. down there, Ian Pleasant, Joe John Finley out on the edge at the point of attack. And he, his great speed gets it down in there, and they just trip him up at the end, and he falls on that shoulder. Sooners ahead, 34-9, and this will be the last play of the game. You see Darian Williams step, yeah. step in front of a corner route. He was in half field coverage there and had a good read on it and made a good break and a good catch and just wasn't able to stay in bounds. See a replay on this one? Steve Coleman, again, as you see up, up there close uh, to the quarterback, and you see really good play by Darian. Just right there, the guy just touched him enough to get his left foot to step out of bounds. 34 the, to 9 is the final, and Oklahoma comes back, back from that game. And here's Dan McCartney, a close friend of yours, Bob. Yeah, wonderful, uh, excellent coach, a really great friend uh, to, to our family. And, and uh, Dan, his father, always been close to me. Uh, everyone knows, maybe, maybe they don't, but I played at Iowa. Well, he was one of my coaches. And then as a young graduate assistant came up under Dan, and along with Hayden Fry, Bill Snyder, all the coaches, Barry Alvarez. But as a young coach, I used to drive he and Barry Alvarez around, whether they were recruiting or, <laughs> and we, we had a lot of fun for sure. So we still stay in close contact. That's a pretty good coaching tree right there. And then after the ball game, kind of assessing that one. And, uh, and Bob, I guess we look forward now because Colorado is on the horizon and a team that started off really slow and then they go to Georgia and play extremely well and, and got the big win yesterday. They're, they're a good football team as you watch them. I know they, their record may not indicate that, but they've been in some, uh, as you said, some tight, good football games. Uh, with some very good teams and had a big win yesterday against Texas Tech and, and a team that's very capable, as you said. They, they move in the football on, on everybody and just in some other games have had trouble, trouble putting it in the end zone where they didn't uh, last week against Tech. Defense has been playing very good for them and did again uh, yesterday against Tech. So a good football team that we need to make our improvement through the week to, to be in position to beat them here this coming week. So if you look at uh, Colorado, they've had the reputation of not being very good, but they actually do have the first-year coach who you know at some point is going to be able to score. And so it's going to be an interesting matchup, though, with a, with a really good defense and an offense that's going to, going to need to kind of uh, regroup and, and move forward immediately. That's right, but, but we will. We'll adapt to, to our personnel and, and focus on what, 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 what they do the best. Right. And, and uh, be aware of how, how Colorado likes to attack you and what they like to do. And, and same thing, uh, our defense needs to continue to get better and, and to be able to defend Colorado. So it, it's all parts of the game need to keep improving. That's what we'll keep pushing for. All right, stay with us. We come back. Closing comments back in a moment. It's now time for this week's All Tell Play Call of the Game. Iglesias in motion toward the formation. Thompson, a five step drop. As time throws, end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! That was this week's All Tell Play Call of the Game. Honey, I think I found the problem. Want an easy way to keep your engine clean? Use Conoco and Phillips 66 Quality Pro Clean Gasolines. They meet the tough, top-tier standard developed by BMW, Honda, GM, and Toyota to help keep your engine running its best. Conoco and Phillips 66. Life happens between empty and full. Introducing the biggest thing to happen in sports. Sports Monday. Only in the Monday Oklahoman. Only Sports Monday gives you statewide and coast-to-coast -coast coverage of the weekend's games, plus event ratings for the week ahead. Only Sports Monday puts you in the press box, on the sidelines, and in the locker room with exclusive features only insiders know. Get your sports complete and compact to grab and go. Get Sports Monday every Monday, only in the Oklahoman. Now you're ready. Dedication. Teamwork, these are the characteristics that build a winner. At Chevy, the all-new redesigned Tahoe is in for every play. 
From now until November 13th, register to win a new OU-branded 07 Tahoe during our Ultimate Fan Experience sweepstakes. One lucky winner will drive off in a new Tahoe, but others will have a chance to win one of several Ultimate Fan Experience packages, including tickets to OU football. See your Oklahoma Chevy team dealer today. <laughs> Terribly embarrassing, isn't it? Me, a camel, guzzling at Dasani. Ooh, they're squenching oasis. It's just sandy spring water. <laughs> but this Dasani, it tastes crisp, fresh. Why, it's practically irresistible. With a hump like mine, I could quit drinking it whenever I want to. I just don't want to. New Grape, another mouthwatering flavor from Dasani. Looking for a vehicle? You could spend all day and all night searching all over here and here. Or you could just look here. Look here. It's a new world and a new way of shopping, but it's the same Bob Howard sales and service you've trusted for years. 16 different automotive manufacturers, a network of over 6,000 new and pre-owned vehicles, all on sale every day. every day. Why run all over town when you can shop from home? The Bob Howard Auto Group. Check out our virtual location, whatever, wherever, whenever you want us at www.bobhowardauto.com. Coach Dude's Clothing, provided by Harold. It's now time for the OG&E power play of the game. From the Oklahoma 47, the turn, the gift to Peterson. The left side, 50, 45, 40, to his right, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Oklahoma. OG&E. Power at the speed of life. And the upcoming game, Oklahoma, Colorado. And that is a six o'clock game once again. Very quickly, Coach, crowd big. It, it, our crowds have been awesome. It's homecoming this coming week, so hopefully they'll be there, be rowdy, and, and keep, uh, keep making a difference like they have. It's fun to play in our stadium for sure. Good win, Bob. All right, thanks, Dean. For the head coach, Dean Blevins, we'll see you next week. Sooner Football 2006 is brought to you by Joe Cooper Ford, home of the $10,000 best price guarantee. Conoco and Phillips 66. You can count on quality ProClean gasolines. Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance. All around coverage, all around Oklahoma. The Oklahoman. Sports is our turf. And by your Oklahoma Chevy team dealers. Chevy, America's number one brand. Closed captioning provided by our vast bank. Well, it was a, it was a good game. Uh, again, my uh, compliments always to Coach McCarney, his staff, Iowa State. They're always a good, well-coached team that you have to make you earn everything you get and you have to really play well to beat them. And, and felt like for most of the game, we really played in a good way. Uh, yes, I guess defensively, I, I still, you know. It's, it's... This has been a Sooner Vision presentation for the Sooner Sports Network in cooperation with Sooner Sports Properties.